Hi guy rules here and um welcome to uh a very interesting let's play. It's only one part. Um yes, it is uh Pokemon Pikachu number 25 CD. Um I suspect I got this in some sort of cereal or something. Um if anyone remembers these, let me know. But apparently there were a number of them with different Pokemon. I, I'd assume like Meowth or Mewtwo or something like that. Um, but I know that there's at least Pikachu, and, um, it actually lists on here Pikachu's attacks, um, four of Pikachu's attacks, actually. Um, maybe the ones that Ash had on his Pikachu at the time. Um, it's called Pokerom, Pikachu, number 25. So, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of, uh, I think I got it from a CD, uh, from a cereal box, and, um, it's an oddly shaped CD, and it still runs on my PC. So we're going to boot it up and see what on earth it is. I have no clue what this is going to be like. Um, so let's start the Let's Play. Hope this thing boots up. Oh, okay. Got to learn them all. Uh-oh. Welcome, Pokemon I fear, I am Professor I fear we're in educational territory. Click on your name. If you haven't signed in before, mm. please click on the So apparently Professor Oak from the anime is here. Uh, surprisingly enough, he has his voice. Um, I guess they paid that voice actor fairly well. Oh no, math problems. A new adventure. Hmm. Why is Professor Oak trying to teach me math here? Well, I guess that answers that question. Just as important to train our brains as it is to train our Pokemon. That sounds so weird. Yay, one times one equals one. Ugh. Really, Professor Oak? You failed at your own puzzle challenge? What's particularly annoying about this is that you see them at the beginning, but you actually have to match them and remember where they are, so... <sighs> Just click around randomly. I, uh, 18 equals 8, really, they'll they'll dismiss that. If you get the same two numbers, they'll equal. They'll make that uh, work there, because of course 8 does equal 8, but it kind of defeats the purpose of the math problems there. 15 equals 15, you can't argue with that logic. And of course, we have Professor Oak cheering us on here, I suppose. And Pikachu, yay, number 25 Pikachu. Ugh. I hope this isn't one of those... Pokemon in name only type of things where um, it's just basically an entirely different thing from Pokemon and it just kind of has the Pokemon label slapped over it with a few pictures of Pikachu here. I have this sinking feeling that that's what this is. I'm just surprised the thing still works on my PC. Thank you, Professor Oak. I did not know that those were the same. And we get a lovely stock Pikachu. St stop pic. St yeah, stock picture of Pikachu. Great. <sighs> this music won't get annoying. Also, music from the anime, by the way. Or a form of music from the anime. Really? That's freeing the wild Pokemon? Doing math problems on top of a picture of the Pokemon freeze the wild Pikachu? I'm scared too, but it's the only place to go. Oh, I got the narrator too. The opening of what kind of Pokemon are you? Music. And a bunch of pictures from, like, the first episode of the anime. Oh, well. Good thing I'm a Pokemon trainer. Welcome to the Pokemon Sanctuary. Where would you like to go today? The trainer center? The observation lab? Really? There's two places? Do we really need, like, a, uh, a map screen for two places? Mm. Yeah, what's this thing? I need some information about you. Well, I'm by myself. Oh, we can only go up to grade five here. Hmm. <laughs> Darn, there's no grade 9 level. What am I talking about? I'm not a ninth grader. I mean grade 11. 
Alright, so it's a multiple choice type thing. Which word is a synonym for answer? Response. When you divide a number by 2 and then subtract 25, you're left with 25, which is the original number. 100 divided by 2 is 25, minus 25, which would be 100. So, 100 is the answer. There you go. Thanks, Professor Oak. Which topic would not be good for a speech on how to do something? Lessons on speaking French, step-by-step -step home repair, making great cookies, or... Okay, I guess Master the history of television. Okay. Player one. When you divide the number of Pikachu by two and then subtract... Really? It's the same question as before, it's a hundred. Except now it's with Pikachu, although that has nothing to do with anything. And why am I a Poliwrath? Or a Poliwhirl? I don't want to be a Poliwhirl. Can I be a Pikachu at least? Which of the following begins each new paragraph? Uh, subject? Oh, an indent. How many states are there in the United States of America? Oh, really? Well, America doesn't exactly exist in the Pokemon world. Well, in the anime, I suppose it does. Misty ate one-eighth of Pokey Fruit, and Ash ate three-fourths of the Poke. Really? Pokey Fruit? Pokey Fruit? That's, that's the strongest tie they can bring to the uh, actual show or, or games. Listen up, everyone. It's time for the lightning round. Use your letter key to choose your answer. Ooh, now I gotta press, uh, one of the keys. Okay, player one, your special player key is the letter A. Ooh, special letter key A. Alright, so I gotta press that letter key when, uh, whenever something comes up. Poor C. Really? They're, they're gonna juxtapose Pokemon facts with real life facts? That's just weird. Mm, candy's not found naturally in a forest. Neither are movies. Trees. Yeah, there we go. Keep up the good work. And look at that map. They could have at least made it the map of Kanto. I know Rattata is not a rock Pokemon. Or Redita, as Professor Oak pronounces it. I guess that's the fancy term. Or the actual term. Kabuto. I believe that's part rock, so. Hey, there we go. Made with one. Hmm, chocolate ice cream. Wow, Is that made with chocolate, I wonder? Hooray, I won. I wasn't playing against anyone else. No, we're not doing that again. Okay, hey, there's a picture of Ash and Pikachu. And I cannot click on anything else in this room. So, um, nor can I exit, so I can't go back to that menu screen there. And hey, how come there's the Squirtle, Bulbasaur, or not Bulbasaur, but pieces? I wanted to use those pieces and you know, whatever. Okay. Pokemon Radar. So apparently the Poke Radar was around in Generation 1. However, it could only find Pikachu, apparently. It's the only Pokemon on the list because I suppose this is the Pikachu CD-ROM. I suppose, I suppose if I were to collect them all, I'd be able to see more Pokemon. Alright, I gotta click on the blip. Hey, it's Pikachu! A stock photo from the anime. Terrific. Can I find... maybe... another Pikachu or something else? Or Ooh. And the same picture. I found Pikachu. <sighs> Oh, hey, a different picture. That's great. So. And we get the loop of about five notes of one of the songs from the anime. Lovely. <laughs> Open landscape, I suppose, but there's nothing here. <sighs> there really is nothing more to this, is there? I, I can't even find the original Pikachu I found. The original two. Oh, there's another one. Or one of the ones I found before, I don't even know. <sighs> I like the Poke Radar in the fourth generation games better. So if there's nothing useful to say. And all I can do is the settings and go back to the trainer center, which there's nothing to do here. Wow. That was the entirety of this game. One math matching puzzle. One horrible trivia board game. And one 
thing that lets you view various stock photos from the anime if you have the right disc. That's uh, fairly disappointing. Yes. Let's look at the credits to see who to blame for this. Okay, Mimi Lynn Back, Cat, uh, Dan Mizabit, Tracy Holmes, Carolyn, uh, Gracie, Gregory, BD, and friends, and all the kid testers who provided invaluable feed. Oh, kid testers. Really, kid testers tested this. Kids actually enjoyed this or found it to be any sort of substance. It's not even the fact that it's a learning game that makes it bad. It's the fact that it's nothing. There's like nothing. There's like no con content in this thing. <sighs> the graphic artists. They, there's no graphic artists. They just stole pictures from the anime. All right. Well, it was made with Macromedia. Hey, 2000. Yeah, 10 years old. All right, guys. That's about it. Join me in the next part. Or not the next part, but whatever I do next. Pyro Rules out.